Below is a chemical tube containing a solution of zinc sulfate and cuprum sulfate. This solution is an electrolyte. In water, solute molecules are dissolved in the form of ions. Cuprum ions, zinc ions, and sulfate ions. Sulfate ions can be said to be spectator ions. For the time being, this ion can be ignored. Next, the zinc sheet is dipped in a zinc sulfate solution. And, the copper sheet is dipped in the cuprol sulfate solution. This zinc sheet is composed of zinc atoms. Meanwhile, copper sheets are composed of cuprum atoms. These two sheets are connected by a cable via a voltmeter. Meanwhile, the two solutions are connected by a connecting tube containing the salt solution. In this series is potassium nitrate in salt form, often referred to as a salt bridge. Once everything has been connected, the Zn atom on the zinc sheet releases two electrons to become a Zn2 plus ion. These ions will be dissolved into the water. Meanwhile, two electrons will flow through the voltmeter towards the copper sheet. On the voltmeter screen a certain value will be read as an EMF voltage, such as 1.1 volt. Electrons that reach the copper sheet will be absorbed by cuprum ions to become cuprum atoms. These atoms will stick to the surface of the cuprum sheet. During this process, the zinc sulfate solution will have an excess of positive ions. Meanwhile, the cuprum sulfate solution will lack positive ions. Therefore, two nitrate ions enter the zinc sulfate solution to neutralize the Zn2 plus charge. Likewise, two potassium ions enter the cuprum sulfate solution to replace the charge of the cuprum ions that have become cuprum atoms. This is where the function of the salt bridge is to neutralize the electrolyte solution. Later, the dipped zinc sheet will become thinner. Meanwhile, the dipped silver sheet will become thicker. This process takes place spontaneously. In electrochemistry, it is known as a voltaic cell. We will study voltaic cells further in the next series. Hopefully this is useful, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.